Pakistan's legitimate Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has been under arbitrary detention since the last 378 days, has filed a petition before the Islamabad High Court to halt the proceedings of the bogus Al Qadir Trust case while requesting the minutes of an April 2020 NAB board meeting. The 343rd meeting of the National Accountability Bureau, which already closed the case which kicked off the Al Qadir investigation, was mentioned by Imran Khan in a speech in July of last year, just a few days before his arrest. It was because of this bogus case that Aftab Sultan resigned as Chairman NAB, after which a recently retired Pakistan Army General was appointed as the head of the institution by the military regime. The Chief Justice has time and again demonstrated his extreme bias against Imran Khan. On Thursday, Justice Issa's comments in the Supreme Court during a hearing on an environmental case were particularly egregious when he brought up Imran Khan's Al Qadir Trust case, for which a jail trial is currently being conducted. Experts and commentators have said that the Chief Justice's comments on a subjudice case fall under gross misconduct, as they can influence the lower courts. His open hostility towards Imran Khan without evidence or even mentioning his name only fuels a biased atmosphere. Imran Khan's sisters Alima Khan and Uzma Khan have challenged his judicial misconduct. They plan to address this injustice in court, ensuring Qazi Faiz Issa's prejudice remarks do not compromise the integrity of the case. Speaking to representatives of the media outside the Supreme Court, Ms. Khan said that they are requesting that Qazi Faiz Issa recuses himself from all cases related to Imran Khan after his misconduct on Thursday. Comedian and satirist On Ali Kosa was abducted in a night raid when masked armed men invaded his home. Kosa is a comedian and content creator known for his biting satire, critical of the policies of the illegitimate regime in Pakistan. His song, made in the tune of the famous Pakistani anthem Dil Dil Pakistan, pointing out the extreme hardships faced by ordinary Pakistanis after policies of the country's military-backed illicit government caused an economic crisis, was removed from his social media platforms soon after his abduction. The Amnesty International has called on the government of Pakistan to promptly ensure On's immediate and safe return. Meanwhile, the Lahore High Court has issued production orders for Kosa, directing the capital city police to produce him by Tuesday, August 20th. Pakistan's economy could lose up to $300 million due to internet disruptions caused by the imposition of a national firewall, the Pakistan Software Houses Association said in a press release on Thursday. One of the largest freelancing platforms for hiring skillful individuals, Fiverr has placed all Pakistani profiles in an unavailable category due to the internet slowdown in Pakistan caused by the installation of a firewall by the country's military-backed regime to control information as well as freedom of expression. The latest round in months of on-off talks to end the genocide in Gaza, which has killed over 40,000 Palestinians, began between Israel and mediators. Reuters reported that Hamas was not directly involved in the talks but was kept briefed on the progress. Al Jazeera has reported that the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken will travel to Israel to continue diplomatic efforts to conclude a Gaza ceasefire deal after mediators Qatar, Egypt and the U.S. have termed the latest talks as serious and constructive.